All right, y'all. We back in that thing. And I want to do a toast before we even get started with this episode. Let's do a toast to our brand new set. Oh. Hey, man, I hope y'all like it at home, man. Amen. A toast to it, man. Did you Amen. miss me? Set designer. And the set designer. <laughs> Fu is a comedian, a child whisperer. He is a set designer, yeah, a counselor. stylist, marriage counselor, yes. hair product connoisseur. Mm -hmm. This man wears many hats. Many hats. Shout out to our brother, Billy Sorrells, holding things down on the radio station. Yes, sir. Uh, brother, we holding you down, too. Don't you worry about shit. We got this over here. I had an interesting week. Okay. I met Cardi B. Oh, that's interesting. That's all. That's. I met Cardi B, man. Uh, she had a commercial. I fucking love her. She's amazing. She's awesome. I just... She's so hood cool. Yeah, I know her. She I hood just... cool. I just want to be around her for a few minutes. She hood cool. The set I was on, I people didn't even know how to approach her. They were like, they thought she would be like, they did. it was just, they didn't know how to approach her. So we're doing a commercial, and it's for a streaming company, Vista TV, and I wrote out the uh, the sketch for it. So I wrote me and her thing. So I'm like, I know she ain't gonna want to have a whole lot of lines. So I want to have more of her reacting. So I played the role of the annoying neighbor, and you know I wrote out everything. So it was like, we're gonna somebody was taking notes. They said, take these cards over to Cardi. I was like, I'm not taking no goddamn cards over to Cardi. You take them over to Cardi. <laughs> Fuck, you trying to set me up? It's the first time I meet her, I'm handing her some fucking cards? No. no you go. He was like, uh, I said, where is she? Cardi's over there. I was like, okay. Now, here's the deal. Back it up. Before This is when I knew she was a star. A motherfucking superstar. Okay. It's stars, and then it's superstars. It's superstars. Bruh, my man came in, scouted out the whole... We in a mansion, by the when way. We in Miami. When you become a spokesman for Pepsi. Oh, yeah, yeah you doing big shit. Yeah, we're in a mansion, a 10-bedroom mansion in Miami. They got a pool inside that bitch. Overlapping! Opulence. Huh. Say it again. Opulence. <laughs> huh. Her men come in. She pull up in this big black SUV. Her people come in there. They're looking around. They need to know. Everybody in the house. Who is she? Oh, she working the sound on the camera? Who is she? Okay. She the set designer. Okay. Who is he? He's everybody. Every motherfucker move. Clear out the living room. Cardi's coming through. Clear Cardi's coming through. Clear out the living room. I'm in the living room, but I ain't in the living room. <laughs> And I ain't getting out the living room. I guess. So, they cleared away. Cardi comes in. Cardi got on a robe, some motherfucking furry ass slippers, shades on. And she was like, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a minute. I'll be back. I'm going upstairs. She goes upstairs. She got a security guard with him. He's a slender cat, about 6'3, tatted up. You could tell he about that. You could tell. You can tell when a nigga about that life. He about that action. He about it. He about it. So he probably in front of the Bronx. <laughs> Everybody, turn off your phones. Cardi doesn't want any pictures. Turn off your phone. I'm on my phone. <laughs> I don't know who you talking to. Cause I'm gonna be in this scene with Cardi. I ain't turning off shit. But fuck, who you talking to? Who you talking to? I'm still on my phone, scrolling, surfing. Cardi goes upstairs. It's, they start playing music, right? They playing some of Cardi music. Mm -hmm. So it's blasting through the whole house. Cardi's upstairs in makeup getting that shit done. It's it's three goddamn levels in this goddamn house. Staircase that do this. That motherfucker do serpentine. That motherfucker do all that. Yeah, it's whole next level. Music is playing. They playing some of Cardi music. I'm thinking to myself, why the fuck are y'all playing Cardi music and Cardi upstairs? Security coming down. Hey, turn it off. Turn it off. Car Cardi wants it off. Turn it off. I'm scrambling. I'm about to bust a speaker and turn that bitch off. Turn, Cardi, run it off. They just kicked the damn. They get the shit off. 
So we're the bus and speaker open. Get, so now we getting ready to do the scene, and nobody wants to roll up the car and give her the notes. She so was like, "D, like, can you?" I said, "I'm not giving Cardi them notes." Where is she? She over there. I walk right up to her. Hey, Cardi, how you doing? I'm D-Lay. Me and you going to be killing the scene today. I'm playing an annoying neighbor. And just react how you would react if somebody just showed up at your house and you didn't know they were there. That's it. But I need you to nail these two lines. How did you get in my house? Where did you come from? That's it. Great. Fuck the cards. Why well, am I going to give her some goddamn I'm cards? I'm in there. I'm doing my D-Lay thing. She's naturally. All she doing is opening up the door. I got some flowers. I'm handing her some flowers. She's throwing the motherfuckers away like, what the fuck you doing here? I'm like, I'm glad you asked. I'm your neighbor. I'm actually the neighborhood greeter. I'm here to shoot. I'm talking my shit. Mm -hmm. Right? Cut. Door closed back. So they are so nervous around her, the directors. This is how nervous they are. They're ready to roll again, right? But Cardi was talking. They was like, hey, D-Lay, you think you can get Cardi on a mark? <laughs> What? <laughs> Do I think I can get her on a mark? Yeah, if you could just like let her. All right, Cardi, we're about to shoot in five, four, three. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh uh, I'd have made it. I'd have made it. Uh. <laughs> she did it. I'd have made it. I was just, it was just like I, a hey, hey, nigga, I cool. Ain't never like, really been starstruck, bro. Man, she was so cool. I love her. We finished shooting everything. And I'm sitting in the back of the living room. I mean, I'm in the living room area, but I'm kind of sitting in the back. She's sitting about maybe three steps in front of me. I'm on my phone. She stands up. Everywhere she go, security right on her. Yeah, moving with he, her. Nigga, he moving with her. I'm going where you going. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on my phone. She walks up to me. She was like, you know who you look like? I was like, no. Toy, tie, something, something. Like she's like you look like you're related. She said you you look you know who you look like you're related, you're related to, Ty something like that. And I was like oh I'm not familiar with her, this person who it is. She was like oh okay, but you're funny. I was like thank you thank you, I think you're dope too. She was like, where you from? I was like I'm from Louisiana. And I looked at her and I said oh okay Cardi, <laughs> I see what's going on. I felt that. <laughs> Offset that feeling <laughs> for my safety. <laughs> hey man, I'm about Pun to jump out the goddamn window. <laughs> Pun intended. Pun, Pun intended. intended like gonna, a mother. I'm gonna mother. offset that. I'm gonna go offset that feeling for my safety. For my but safety. But she was dope, man. She was cool, man. We shot the shot the commercial. Oh my god. And she and but she's like a really a down to earth star. Really cool. Really dope. Nothing. Nothing but love for that woman. And she look like money. Like money. I bet she smell like she money. She smell like money. I know she smells amazing. Cardi smell like hundred dollar bills. Oh. A oh, hundred dollar bills. It's like looking at a bag of money dressed up. That's what it was. Beautiful dress. A whole bag. Whole bag. A whole bag of money. That bitch hit me with a bag of money in a strip club one time. Like a trash bag. It's hefty, disrespectful. Hefty sack full of money. It don't matter walk if it hurt past, or not. It's disrespectful. Walk past and bump me. She didn't like swing it. She bumped me with the bag. I was like, was that a bag of she bumped money? Me with a bag of money. God damn. A I know. bag of money. A bag of money. I had an um, interesting time. Um, I was supposed to go on a cruise. Cruise. Cruise story coming up. I was supposed to go on a cruise, didn't get a chance to go. I was so fucking disappointed, bro. Because I had to shoot some stuff here in L.A. And I was excited because, I, you know, it was good because it was like a, a supporting role on a, on a, on a, a sitcom. Oh, go get that. I'm hoping it get picked up, you know what I'm saying? But I was excited about that. But I missed the cruise. Mm. So I was like, shit, I got to make this money up. So I shot down to Atlanta and I was at the uh, Oak Atlanta. Uh, at the comedy club for the weekend. <laughs> so I'm there and a uh, good friend of mine, uh, Kelly Kells. Kelly Kells, shout out to Kelly Kells. Shout out Funny. to Kelly Kells, Milwaukee. My Midwest homie, my little sister. I love Kelly Kells to death. Her and her husband, James, are the coolest motherfuckers on earth. James, 
Like, I, there's motherfuckers in life that, like, I admire for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, especially, like, I'll say men. Because, like, growing up, it wasn't a lot of, like, strong men in my family or, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Um, strong male examples. Like, most of my <laughs> male examples was, like, hood niggas that I was around in the street that gave me bullshit advice. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was terrible. So, I... um. Throughout my life, I, I meet niggas that certain, you know, like one of my best friends, uh, Wildcat, comedian Wildcat, mm -hmm. uh, is like one of the cats who taught me what it was like to be a good father. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watching that nigga with his son when I was younger, when I was first got in the game. And, uh, but James, Kelly's husband, is like, he's just like a man's man type of nigga. Like, type of nigga, go to work. You're like, you know the nigga you see on TV, go to work with the lunchbox, clock in, like bust the bricks, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eat his lunch, go bust the bricks some more, punch out, go home. Blue collar shit. You know what I'm saying? He can get the get the big piece of chicken, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Got, got his beer. Blue collar nigga, go yeah. To bed. Just like, I was like, nigga, this is just like watching a fucking TV show. Like, I, I don't know niggas like this, you know what I'm saying? Like this, when I would stay at their crib, whatever, in New York or wherever the fuck, it always be funny to me. So, um, now, but James at the same time, He's a hood nigga. Mm -hmm. He's been, he, you know, he's a reformed hood nigga. You know? <laughs> he's a reformed hood nigga. Like I'm talking about, not. I'm talking about all goals, all perms though, permanent. Like ain't no snatch out, no pull out, no clip ons. This permanent motherfucking goals, nigga. GD to the world blow up. You know what I'm saying? Gang bang city. Right. Thug nigga. But. They got a beautiful little girl named Savannah. That motherfucker will make anybody change their life if right. you ever see this little motherfucker. She got a little lisp, and it's like she's the cutest little thing you ever see. It's like, oh, get the fuck away from me right. before I go buy something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate her. Like, man, she, she, nigga, this motherfucker will slap the shit out of me in the get morning and wake me up. Pow, Uncle Kevin, wake up. Shit hurt like a motherfucker, but when you see it, you're like, ah, get away from me before I go buy something. You just like, man, so the nigga life is different now. He's still that same nigga, but, you know, he's a father and a husband now. So right. I go to Atlanta. They done moved to Atlanta. I always forget to call them when I'm in Atlanta. I always forget they done moved down there. So I'm like, fuck. I call him. James like, man, Ke uh, Kelly uh, out of town, but I'm I'm trying to get out the house. Kids going, I'm gonna come kick it with you. I was like, man, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Me and James go hang out. You know what I'm saying? So, and like just to tell you, show you how cool we are. Like, I would stay at their crib in New York. They had two cars. James would like just let me take the other car, and then you know, like, cause if I had shows somewhere Kelly didn't, right. you know what I'm saying? We would try to make it where we was working the same places so we can get, you know. But it'd right. be like if you got to go across town, here nigga take the other car. Like these my niggas. So he come to kick it with me, right? I got a little young lady hanging out with me that night. She had lighter, and uh, she got her friend with her, another chick. So <laughs> we kill you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so you know. I let James know, like, you know, these just my own girls, you good, ain't no, you know, like, he like, all right, cool, so we kicking it. James pulls up, he, with a fifth of Kavassi in the car, he pulls up and say, fool, you want to hit this? I was like, mm, yeah, of course, of course, why not? I hit the Kavassi, he's, he's, he's halfway through the bottle, <laughs> it's like, I'm like, Damn. just him, I'm like, he getting, he, he going in, right, he kind of. Stumble out the car a little bit. I said, oh, oh shit, yeah. You know I said, yeah, it's going to be a good night. James a little drunk. Good. So, nigga, we walk. We walk into the into the spot. James have a couple Hennessy's while we in the comedy club. <coughs> I'm like, okay. So I go on stage, do the show. Get off stage. We kicking. I'm like, man, what you want to do? He say, shit, let's go by Esco. Esco is a Esco bar. It's a two chains club. Nice spot. Two chains always in that motherfucker. Like he's one nigga that you gonna see in his spot. Like <laughs> if it, it's it's two chains club and two chains is in that bitch. You hear me? Like if that nigga in town, he's in that motherfucker. So it's cool because you always see him in there. So I'm in there. We get there. 
James was like, yeah, let's just shoot, let's, let's kick it in here for a minute. So we go inside, we get a couple of drinks, we drinking. I go outside, smoke a black and mild. Security is real aggressive this evening. They on that like, you know when you go somewhere and it's like, it's like everywhere you stand is the wrong motherfucking place. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go is nigga like, hey man, hey man, you can't stand right here. You like, nigga, okay, how about this? Tell me where I can stand. Right, <laughs> right. Everywhere I didn't touch, nigga, you told me to move. Cause this <laughs> nigga was getting on my goddamn nerves. I'm talking, and I felt like he was just watching me to see where the fuck I was going so he could tell me, hey man, you can't stand right there. Right, <laughs> like, hey, he was just fucking with you. Duh, everywhere I went, this nigga was tapping me, hey, hey, hey brother, hey, you can't stand, I was like, bro, just tell me where I can stand, and right. and then we'll leave it at that. We'll step right there. So I stand right there. I'm standing there for a second. Hey, man, look, I'm going to need you to step back just a little bit. Really, fam? I said, you know what? I'm going to go outside and smoke. I tell James I'm going to go outside. Because I'm getting frustrated at this point. So I go outside with the black and brown. You know what I'm saying? I roll up a blunt while I'm smoking the black and brown. Hit the blunt a couple times. Something says, go back inside. I don't know why. Shit, I ain't even smoked. Half of the blood. I just hit it like two or three times. I hit the blood. I put it out. I go back inside. Now, when I go inside, the the young lady that I was with, she say, she called me over. I go over there to her. She say, two chains in here. I was like, yeah, I figured that because that's why they were so being so aggressive on security. She was like, oh, okay, I'm finna go say hi. I was like, oh, okay. So she goes to walk towards... <laughs> Where two chains at? Here come this nigga again. Hey, hey, yes. two chains don't want to be bothered. She was like, "No, I, I, I know him personally. I just want to say hi." No, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Yeah, everybody say that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, so he looks at me. I say, "Nigga, I'm not even really over there." Like she, <laughs> she over there in his face. I'm over here. He looks at me. I say, "Nigga, I ain't even really over there." <laughs> what you gotta say what, now? What you gonna Shit. tell me now, right. nigga? Don't look over there. Let the fuck out of <laughs> Two here. Two chains don't want to be looked at right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be peering at. So I'm standing in the corner, nigga. Uh, so she like, so I, I I step over there and I'm like, I'm like, it's cool, baby. Just, I said, you can, she's like, no, 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 I'm cool. So she look over there and see the nigga. He see her, he say, come here. So dude let her pass. Now she give him the, hmm, like, you know what I'm saying, and go on past. His nigga looks at me again. He looks over at me. I'm like, nigga, I I got shit to do hey, with that. man. So she go over there, get a nigga a hug, take a picture. She coming out. Now, I walk over because she's with me. So I'm finna help her down out the little area she's in. Mm -hmm. So I go to reach that nigga say, hey, man. I say, hey, bruh, I don't even want to go over there. I'm good. So I grab her hand. Now, I have on um, gold motherfucking slip like loafers. They sparkling like a motherfucker. I'm I'm cleaning the I'm cleaning the bitch. Give me what you wear. Give me oh, head nigga. to toe, fool. I'm I'm I got on um, haircut? Oh, haircut. Oh you you immaculate. Two two braids to the okay, back. Okay, two braids, okay. Haircut. On, I'm talking about when went on books it. Right. Found right. me a good good body. <laughs> I'm good. Boy Booksy? It. <laughs> Booksy is a motherfucker. Nigga, I know and my Booksy. The cut. Is another one. So I go, give me a good cut, give me a good cut. I'm a shit knock back. I'm talking about I'm I'm in there. Right. I'm one stop shop, same place, got everything. Braids, you know, locks, braids, and lineup. Right. I'm clean. You know what I'm saying? I got on a red motherfucking blazer. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this new thing lately. I'm really into like striped pants. Okay. Or you know, plaid. like plaid. Anything mm -hmm. with, with, with lines. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, very, very lineal. Lately. Okay. 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 Uh, I, 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 I got this thing where I'm, 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 I'm kind of mixing '70s and today. Like in the '70s, there was a lot of patterns. Mm -hmm. So you know, but it was mostly in the shirt. So I'm going pattern with the pants, solid up top. So I got my pattern pants on with my red blazers. I told you guys that he was a master. Of a lot of trades. He's a clothier. <laughs> That's what he is. He's a clothier. Continue, bro. Yeah. Now here's the thing. I don't know how to dress really if it's if it's not dress clothes. Like when it comes to putting on regular shit like jeans and sneakers, I get confused then and be like, oh. right. 
Yeah. Well, they come to putting on some dress clothes. That's your, that's your nigga, thing. Man, right. come on. He's a clothier. I ain't, that's, I ain't that's what fucking around. So I'm in that bitch clean. I'm talking about blazer popping, everything. The red is the red is popping, and the shoes is. So the nigga see the shoes. He followed the shoes up. Nigga was like, oh, and then he salute me. So I salute Who's back. This? Two chain. Two chain salutes you. He's I salute back. So shorty come down, and he uh, reach out to shake my hand. Now I look at the security nigga like, is this okay? Okay. Nigga, do you know what I'm my hand because he's asking for because <laughs> I don't need this nigga to karate chop me right. or no weird shit. So he stepped back. Now he kind of got this thing now. But I'm almost mad that the nigga reached, reached out to shake my hand because now thick neck feels some kind of way. He, he, he. So I got them. Uh, I reached in, shaved him, man. He, man, them motherfuckers nice. I said, appreciate it, bro. He said, you do comedy, bro. I said, yeah, for sure. Just had a show over at the Oak. Like, I'm there all weekend. If you get a chance, stop through. All right, cool, cool, cool. I see. I probably do. I know he ain't coming. Of course. <laughs> what up? I said, appreciate it. He's Barnell Hill in him. <laughs> I appreciate he it. He said, are you going to be in L.A.? Damn, <laughs> if you were in L.A., you'd be on my show. He hit them at the Vernon Hill. They, they do that. So I'm like, it's cool. Yeah, for sure. So I, I, I walk off. Now, I'm like, I'm going to go smoke the rest of my blunt. I'm, I'm feeling good. I look good. I just got... You know, beckoned to the to the, to the king's That's court good. in yeah. front of it. Now, him, now everybody like, oh shit, damn food, no two chains. Right. I don't know the two chains worth a damn, but everybody in here seems so now. It's a good look. It's a good look. <laughs> so I walk, I walk outside, I smoke with blood. You know what I'm people talk, a couple people come on and talk, ask me questions. So how long are you at the comedy club this weekend? Because they ain't heard me say this. Uh, I'm going to come through. Yeah, I'm sure you will come They're through. lying too. They're lying yeah, too. They're lying. Yeah, of course, of course. So I smoke it. Something says, go back inside. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know why, but I'm pushing the blood out. I go the fuck back inside. Now, here's where things get interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I get inside. And, like, I just, I have this, I have this sixth sense for when something is about to happen. It can be quiet, everything could be cool, and I'd just be like, hey, man, let's, let's get the fuck out of here. You'd be like, fool, now we have to get, let's go. You know what I'm saying? And I feel that at this moment, you know what I'm saying? And here's where people stop believing the story, because <laughs> people don't know. I have, I'm a mutant. I have, I have powers. I feel it. I say, something ain't right. I hear commotion after I say that. I didn't hear that before, but then as soon as I say something ain't right, I hear some commotion. And I look in the corner, I see security, it's like four people, and I see two more niggas going their way, so I'm like, something happened. But my spidey sense says, where's James? <laughs> Where James? the fuck is James? That's James in that corner. I know it. I see old girl. I see the girl she's got with her. I don't see James. I say, hey, where James at? She's like, oh, your friend. She's like, he is tipsy. Woo. But he right over there. So I look to where she point. She's like, because she point and then look, but she don't see him. So now we both looking. But she can't see him behind the four bodies of just thick niggas that's standing around him. So I say, I know where he's at. I walk over there. These niggas got James pent up against the wall like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's contorted in a way that I've never seen. One nigga holding this arm, another nigga holding it over here. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is going on? Why do they have James him the fuck up like this? So I said, hey man, what's going on? He like, hey man, this nigga got to get the fuck out of here. He drunk. He got to get the fuck out of here. I was like, hey, bro, I'm going to take him up. Now. Let me show you how it is. They're in a corner. So he, this is dude arm right here. My arm, I've got my arm over the top of his arm like this. So I'm reaching up. I'm trying to pull, pry him back. This nigga's huge, right? So I'm really just like this. Right, you, know you just saying? got your shit up. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really, nah, I told you I have on a suit and I have on gold slippers 
with a blazer on, you know what I'm saying? My little rose on my blazer is about to fall off because I, cause I'm stretching the shit. I'm hearing the thread. Because I'm reaching far, because this nigga tall and wide, so I'm reaching around him. This is really doing nothing. It's nothing. just me showing that, hey, I'm trying right. to be a part of this. So I got a hand on James and a hand on him, and I'm trying to pull myself in between. I said, hey, man, look, I got him. This is my brother. I'm going to take him the fuck out of here. We finna go. All right, well, y'all need to get the fuck on then. So James is like, now, at this, I'm, James is drunk, but he's like, hey. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't came up off of all of this. Like, right. they had him like this. That nigga's like, no, I want to be like this. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So dude kind of mad because they can't really hold him down like they want to. Right. So James like, nigga, just don't touch me. I, I'm going to walk up out this motherfucker. I'm good. Just don't touch me. Let me go. So they like, all right. So I'm like, man, just let him, just let him walk out, bro. So James get ready to walk. Dude push like this he said man I just told you don't touch so when he do that they grab him again I'm like man he just was trying to get the nigga not to this just like let him walk out bro right. so they got him and now I'm back over here again I'm back right. in here with this with the suit with yeah with the suit right. I ain't took the jacket right. off. <laughs> take that goddamn nice ass just the jacket off, jacket yeah. off. So I'm in this bitch. I'm like, hey, come on. Man. Hey, look, man, you need, to, you need to calm down. I said, you tripping, bro. Chill out. I'm finna get him to fuck. This nigga hauls off and punches James in the face. Now, here's how I know James finna kill this nigga. Because most niggas, you punch him in the face, they get irate. And start, oh, that nigga said. Man, you just hit me in my face. <laughs> like, he asked him. He asked that nigga. And the, look, the way he looked. Man, you just hit me in my face. Like, he was dead serious. He, it was like, when, I, I, nigga, I boxed for seven years. Like, like, like in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could still, I still box now. But I'm talking about, like, in it. Like, right. competing. Right? <laughs> so, when nigga hit you, there's certain ways you look, you look at this. There's like that, did this nigga just hit me? Cause it's like you stunned. Right. It's, and then there's that, did this nigga just hit me? Where you like pissed. Right. And you like, you can't believe this nigga had the nerve. And you about to kill this nigga. That's a, I'm not done with this. I'm about to retaliate. So I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, this nigga mad. So the nigga, now at this point, I'm still trying to, so I step back. I say, bro, you tripping. I say, you fucking tripping, my nigga. I say, he ain't, you ain't have no reason to hit that man. I say, he ain't did shit to you. He's like, man, shut the fuck up. I was like, no, fuck you, nigga. You shouldn't have hit that man. So everybody else kind of like, man, just chill. All right, walk, just walk out. So James pushed the nigga hand off of him. When he do this, the other two niggas are still holding him. That nigga punched James again. Now, this time, I fire off, right? <laughs> Now this is what, nigga, you ever hit a motherfucker and know it did nothing? It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It did like not that, work. That one didn't work. I got to do this again. So, nigga, when he hit James, I, I swing. I give, yeah, I go at his ass, right? Nigga, he's so tall. I come across the, so the shoulder catch all of this right here. And all I get is a piece of, is like, tap him, but I hit him dead in the neck. Hit him in the neck. That nigga turned and took this arm. Like, I'm holding this arm, right? Because I'm holding it and I go over the top. Pow! That nigga took this arm and slung me across the room. <laughs> that nigga shoved me clean across, <laughs> clean across the goddamn room. I'm talking about here. Yeah. I was like, I'm talking about slid. Boom! Hit the bar. All of this. Hit the bar. Bam! I said, God damn, I'm fucked up. I jump up, run back over there, grab the nigga arm. Now, this time, I grab with both hands. I snatch the nigga arm off James. Now, I done fucked up, because when I do this, the nigga whole body turn. Now, it's just me and him, yeah, and it's yeah. like everybody else over there. I'm like, wait, I don't yeah, need I'm, all of that to I'm myself. Trying to, I'm trying to get my friend. <laughs> I don't really want all that to yeah. myself. So when he turned around, I swoop to the side of him. Whoop, 
I dip up under them, get over there with other niggas at. And now I'm trying to get to the nigga that seems a little more reasonable. I said, hey, bro, let me get my brother out of here. We just want to go. I said, don't know. Hey, that's, we just want to fucking leave, bro. He like, all right, get him out of here. So I'm walking James out. I get James to the door. Here's where I made my mistake. I turned to go get the girls. You okay? Because James finna go. I'm riding with Shorty. I rode up here with her. I'm going back with her. I'm hanging out with her and her friend. So I'm like, uh, let me step, let me go see where they at, make sure they safe. I done got James to the door. He's out of here. Mm -hmm. He's good. Security in here with me. I get the Shorty. I say, come on, we out here. She was like, y'all good? I said, yeah, let's go. She said, you okay? I said, yeah, I'm good. Let's go. So we walking. As we walking, three security run past us. I said, yep, I know what that's about. I, now, finally, I dropped the coat. Get out of that <laughs> damn coat. I take the coat off, head into Shorty. I run outside. I run outside. All three of them niggas in the street, James in the street. James is going the fuck off. Hey, I just want to fight the nigga head up. That's all I'm asking for. I want a fair one. Me and that nigga, one-on-one, -on -one, right now, right here. I'm not leaving until I get it. I'm not leaving until I get a fair fight. Nigga, what's up? I said, God damn. I said, all right. Matter of fact, I think I still got the jacket on. Because I you walk still out. still got the damn jacket yeah, on. Yeah, I still got the jacket on. Because I walk up. Because I throw the jacket down, but then I picked it back up because wasn't shit going on. So then I get outside and that's when I hear him arguing. So now I got the jacket on. I'm standing there. He, man, I want to fit. I say, James. Let's fucking go. I said, it's time to go. I said, it's over with. That nigga ain't finna do that. They not finna do that shit. That just don't. I said, you not being reasonable, bro. They not finna give you no fair fight out here. I said, them niggas gonna jump you, some stupid shit. One of them niggas gonna shoot you. It's gonna get stupid. I said, let's just get the fuck out of here. So he keep pushing me out the way, trying to walk back up on dude, and the other two niggas won't let him pass. So I keep, till finally I get angry. Now I'm mad at James. I say, nigga, let's fucking go. I say, you fucking tripping, G. Like, calm the fuck down. Let's go. He say, man, fuck that, fool. I'm not leaving until I get a fair fight. So now, here's where I try to really show this nigga it ain't going to happen. And part of me feels like what I'm saying is true, but the other part of me is just, I'm like, fuck it, go with it. Because I don't really think this nigga got it in him the way James got it in him. Right. So I put my neck on the line. I walked up on that nigga. I said, this puss ass nigga is not finna, he ain't built like that. He ain't built like you, he ain't built like us. He ain't that type of nigga. I said, so he ain't finna give you no fair fight. And so James look at me, I look at him. I said, yeah, this nigga right here, this bitch ass nigga right here, that ain't what he on. I said, that's why he's security, cause he a whole ass nigga. So I'm going in, cause I'm trying to see how much this nigga ain't Third even five. tell me, be quiet. Third hey, five. man, stop talking like that. He didn't say nothing. That's how I know. At this point, I know he a bitch. Right. Now I'm really ready to go. Because I'm like, it ain't even worth it. Because he whole ass nigga. Because I'd have punched the shit out of me. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd have knocked my ass out. So um, I'm steady going. So I walk over there. I said, now, you see that? I said, he a bitch. Let's get the fuck up out of here. That nigga said, fool, hey, don't touch me no more. I said, yeah. I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I came here with you. <laughs> we walked in there together. I have been with you all day. I just punched the man in the neck and got smug clean across the room for you. And you gonna tell he nigga, don't touch me no more. I said, what's up, bro? He said, I'll leave with you. But guess what? If I leave with you, when I drop you off, I'm coming back. He said, I'm going home. I'm getting my gun. I'm coming back up here. He said, no, GD, I'm shooting this motherfucker up. He said, and that's on Larry Bernard, who he going in. I say, now he's talking. It's three armed security guards standing in front of him. Hold on, fool. How many guards? Three. It's three armed. guards in their arm. And when we come back from this break, he's going to take you. Hold it. <laughs> I'm hanging on too, goddammit. I'm hanging on just like y'all. We'll be right back. Did you miss me, y'all? What's up, everybody? Hey, listen, folks, thank you guys for watching and keep building with us, people.
Patreon subscribers, we got to thank y'all. We got to show love to y'all. Why? Because we got something planned for you guys that's big and it's on the up and up. And you deserve it. Call us the state. We're giving okay. shit out free. It's time to give away money. It is time. God damn it. Call us your EBT card. God damn it. Did you miss me giving out money? What does EBT stand for? Uh, everybody built to transition. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody broke. Everybody broke. Tomorrow. Nah, I like that. Everybody broke tomorrow. Everybody, Everybody broke, broke today. Tomorrow. Everybody broke today. Yeah. Well, when this card comes through, you're going to be straight. Yeah. That's what that yeah. is. So, listen, people. Patreon subscribers from the lowest level all the way to the highest level. We thank you guys and get ready for us to show our thanks by giving money back to you guys. We appreciate you. And listen, we got some new apparel, too. Yeah, we do. We got some brand new goddamn brand apparel. New shit. Yeah, we got a spring look for you guys. Oh, man. That goddamn billow is very much so a fashionista. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get billow that. The boy no fashion. Yeah. Hey man, go on over to the website and cop something. All right, so, good people, and we are back. Foo is taking us on this ride with James, who's got us in the middle of some shit. Of some shit. Go with it, Foo. Now, as I said, there's three armed security guards That's right. standing in the street, and this man is yelling at the top of his lungs that on his kids and the nation in which he represents, he is gonna come back and release his fire up <laughs> upon this building. He's about to shoot this whole bitch up. He's saying this loud as he can in front of three niggas that's armed. So at this point, I'm like, this is real. I walk over to the security guard. Once again, here's where people stop believing the story. I have these moments where it's just like, hey man, I just gotta be honest and I gotta be real. I told him, man, I said, listen to me. I said, he's not leaving. That's not gonna happen. I said, and if he does leave, guess what? You heard what he just said. I said, y'all are armed right now. I said, and y'all don't look like no real security niggas. Y'all look like three niggas who put on security shirts and came up here to do this shit. I said, y'all really waiting and itching for some shit to do. I said, if he said that in front of y'all with that much you know, he meant it. I said, he's going to do it. I said, and guess what? He ain't no motherfucking marksman. He ain't no Navy SEAL. That nigga ain't no goddamn sniper. I said, so when he come back, he's not going to hit who he's looking for. I said, everybody standing in front of that club finna get fucking shot. I said, so do you want to be responsible for the lives of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I start counting niggas in line. I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He said, bro, stop. He said, nigga, you want to fight? I was like, I didn't say nothing about fighting. He was like, no, I'm saying, do you mans want to fight? I said, yes, he wants to fight. I'm out here, I'm a fight promoter at this point. Do you still have this jacket on? No, yes, I still got the jacket still on. Still got this goddamn got jacket, jacket, jacket on. on. I still got the jacket. You look good though. I look good. You look good. I look damn good. I look, look good. So, um, he said, your man, do your man want to fight or not? I said, yes, he wants to fight. He said, T he said go over there and talk to your man. Give me a few seconds. I said, all right. I go over there and talk to James. Dude, come back. He said, let's go on the side of the club. Come on. Just, just tell your man, come on. Follow me on the side of the club. Now I take the jacket off. Get out of this jacket. good. Because I know we're going back. I take the jacket off. I don't even give it to nobody because at this point, everybody starts walking. I take the jacket off, drop it in the middle of the street, start walking. I'm following them. You leave the jacket? I dropped it in the middle of the street. Shit. And started following them. So we get back there. As we get ready to go in the back, one of the other security niggas puts his arm up. <laughs> Nigga, get the fuck on. He puts his arm up and tries to stop. Come on, bro, what you on? He like, where the fuck you going? So he put, I said, hey, nigga, I'm going in the back with y'all. So I pushed him. I said, come on, bro, go on. I ain't got on. the jacket on. I said, bro, let me tell you something. Y'all not finna, I'm not finna let my mans go back there with all three of y'all. And goddamn it. He said, nigga, what the fuck you really gonna do if something gonna happen? I said, nigga, I'm gonna go down with him. I said, maybe one or two blows he ain't gonna have to take because I took him. I said, but we finna go, do, we finna do this together. He like, man, whatever, man, come the fuck on. I said, I know, nigga. Like, fuck you mean? You ain't giving me permission? Bitch, I told you I'm coming back here. So I go back there, right? Because, like, I'm not trying to hear this. I'm going to fuck. These niggas is huge, and, I, and I'm feeling like they're trying to ignore me. Right. And at this point, it's like, I'm going to be a mosquito. I'm going to drive you niggas crazy. Somebody's going to be mad. So we get in the back. Now, I'm an irritant. I'm going to fuck crazy. 
Yeah, man. Hey, hey. Knock this nigga the fuck out. Let, hey, lay his ass on his ass and let's get the fuck up out of here. I said, because this is a bitch ass nigga. I said, he don't even want this. I said, the nigga don't want to fight, bro. As we, so they like, bro, calm down. I said, no, fuck that. I said, the nigga don't even want to walk. I said, look how he keep asking questions. Dude. As we walking, the nigga walking and shit. James like, James like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. All I want is a fair fight. So dude, like, he's like, why the fuck? This is what he turned and say to James. He said, why you ain't just go outside when I told you to go outside? I said, oh, he a bitch. He's a bitch. I said, he don't want to fight. He like, hey, man, hey, bro, shut the fuck. I said, no, fuck that. He a whole ass nigga, man. The niggas, he asked that question at least three times before we got back there to where we were going, to where they were going to fight at. That's how I knew this nigga didn't want to fight. This nigga is a bitch ass nigga. He kept asking. Why the fuck you ain't just go outside when I asked you the first time? I said, yep, he's scared. So we get in the back, I'm going. I said, man, knock, knock his bitch ass out. Let's get the fuck ass. Let's get the fuck out of here. So he's steady, he's steady going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He don't want, man, I don't know what the, this don't even make no goddamn sense, man. We won't be doing no dumb ass shit like this. We supposed to be secure niggas. Not who at the door? I said, man, you scared. You're fucking scared. Hey bro, get out of my face. Or what? What you gonna do? You gonna punch me now? The little nigga in the group? Oh, you wanna hit me? All these, you don't wanna fight my man, but you wanna punch me in the face now. Oh, come on with it. I said, I'm, I ain't even worried about you now. I know you a bitch. So he steady like, man, hey man, tell your man's calm down. So James say, nigga, fuck all that, come on. So James over there like this, he ready. <laughs> James is already put his shit up. Dude walk over there, James say, hold on, nigga take the pistol off. He like, Man, come on, man. Everybody got time for all this shit. You want to fight? You want to fight? What's up? Shane said, no, nah, nigga, take the pistol out. I said, yeah, nigga, take the goddamn pistol out. I said, what if y'all get the tussling, the pistol fall, somebody get shot? Your shit just go to fuck. It's only safe. Man, shut. You sound dumb, bro. I said, the gun could go off, bro. Just, huh, all right, man. This nigga taking the belt off, the gun belt. That nigga turns and says, why you ain't just go outside when I told you to the first time? <laughs> I said, he is a fucking hoe. He take the belt off, drop the gun over to his man, man holding the belt. They smash up. Now, the fight starts. Dude comes with the first punch. He's a big nigga, though. I said this already. The punch don't connect. But all of this part of his arm comes across the top of James' arm. And James, so he, James go back, he slip, he goes down. I'm like, oh shit. Cause when he slip and go down to his knee, do scramble and he get over there fast as hell and he on top of him. So now I'm in a position where I gotta make a decision. Do I jump in at this point and hit this nigga and then it's it's just a it's free fall. Now. It's all they it's they coming for me. It's over. It's we finna get stomped out. Right. But I'm not finna let this nigga get beat up. I just can't do it. I can't look his wife in the face and and say I watched this nigga. So when he hit the ground, I tense up and I move forward. Right before I can even get over there though, James, the nigga runs up on James and misses. But then he still got him down, pent down. So James swoops him up under the nigga and staggers back. Now he drunk, so he's still falling. So I'm like, he out of it, but not yet. He ain't out of it yet, cause he still might can get got, cause he's stumbling and he's goddamn it slipping, cause he's on rocks and he drunk, so he's staggering. Nigga, <laughs> that nigga catch himself, and that motherfucker dude come in. James dip the punch, and I hear. Him. He hit that nigga right in the eye socket, nigga. Pow! You hear it, it's, it's loud. I was like, ooh! That's the exact sound I made, nigga. I said, ooh! He out of there! So, nigga, everybody look at me. Nigga, James hit the nigga. Dude, rush him to the, rush him to the car. Now they up against the car, right? I jump in now and push try to push in between them to get him off the car because he got James pent up against the car. I'm like, nah, back up, back the fuck up, back the fuck up. So dude over there like, hey man, get your ass out the way. I'm like, hey right, nigga, I'm just trying to back, you right. know, get the nigga off the car. So nigga, James come off the car. He's like, nah, nigga, come on, come on. Dude come in again, throw the punch, miss. James, pow, pow, 
out. It's two straight ass punches, nigga. Like this nigga is fighting unorthodox. <laughs> 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 that nigga, because with instead of ducking the punch, when dude swung, he caught him here and then caught him here, nigga. It was two straight rock and <laughs> sock of ass punches. That shit was funny as hell. Bah, bah, rock and nigga. Soccer. All you heard was, I was like, oh, it's over with. It's, the nigga stumbled. He go back. He grabbed his eye. When he grabbed his eye, I said, oh, he done. He done. We won. We out of here. I said, grab the belt. Grab the belt. So, nigga, shorty come walking over with my jacket. I put my jacket on. I buttoned my jacket up. I said, come on, man. Let's get up out of here. I said, where's the purse at? Who, who got the money? I said, because this fight is over with. Oh, 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 it's over now. I, I'm in full asshole mode at this point. Yeah. I said, hey, man, get your mans the fuck up. Dust him off. I said, because ain't no rematches. When you weed a nigga that decisively, it's over with. I said, there's nothing. I said, Floyd only fought two niggas twice. And this ain't one of them. We out of here. I said, come on, man. Where the, where the, I said, who had their bets up? I said, matter of fact, they told us to put our phones up. I said, somebody got a footage. I said, somebody got to Give it to me. Give it to me. I said, let me get it. Dude, like, hey, man, would you go on the fuck up? I said, nah, fuck that, homie. I said, he punched my man in the face for no reason. Now his ass is over there. I swore. I'm talking about nigga. You ever heard Steve Harvey talk about yeah, the nigga I? I they got punch, Mitch Green. <laughs> when Tyson punched, that's how this nigga I look. So we coming out the back. We going towards the front, back to the front of the club. They trying to calm me down before we get out here in front of the people. It's a line wrapped around the corner, but I'm excited. I can't wait to get around this corner because I know it's 100 people standing outside and I got audience. Nigga, we get in the front. I say, hey, man, y'all make way for the champ. <laughs> I said, I know y'all saw that bullshit out here early. I said, everything is fine. Y'all ain't got to worry. I said, all that shooting up shit y'all heard early, that shit is over with. I said, but it's finna, a yeah, nigga come around this corner, his eye gonna be as big as the moon. The nigga came around the corner. They, I, he walks towards the door. I said, oh no, you off work. <laughs> I said, your night is over with. <laughs> You're done for the evening. Off the clock. So dude looks at him, the other, the other security, a big tall, light-skinned nigga with the braids. He look at me, say, man, he right, you can't be standing out here with your ass swole up like this. <laughs> I said, you heard him. You heard him. I said, get your ass away. I said, who the fuck for to let you secure them right. with your eye right. that be? I said, you can't even see, nigga. Your night is over. I said, have a drink. Go over there and sit down, nigga. I was like, matter of fact, you can't stand right there. You know what? You can't stand right there either. Ah. You can't stand right there either. <laughs> Go sit your bitch ass outside. You can't stand right there. <laughs> nigga. Oh, nigga, I went nuts. Hey, that's hilarious. I went nuts. Hilarious. Man, I had a time. I had the time. My and I was like, God damn, James. I had never seen James like, like that. Like, uh, you know, he was he was in he was in there. I I see this nigga go to work every day. He's a welder or some shit. I don't know. Some weird shit. I don't know. James, he's like, he's like, I'm talking about man, man shit. The nigga come home dirty. That's all I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He be digging holes or some shit. I don't know what the fuck he does. I know the nigga leave and clean blue jeans and come back and they filthy. <laughs> and he get the big piece of chicken. The kids love him. He got a wonderful wife at home. And he's, Who said he come home dirty? That's come, all I know. He come home dirty, man. That's... That's what you saw on TV back in the day. The nigga that came home dirty, dropped the check off, <laughs> put his Ooh. tin lunchbox down. <laughs> Who you mentioned earlier that you was supposed to be on that boat? Uh, I was on that vessel. Yes, you were. Do you know it hurt more when I found out that you were going to be on there as well? Because I didn't find out until like a day or two before I was supposed to leave, and then it was like I had to, because I had to tell him like the week of, like, ugh. Allie, I was on that vessel. That motherfucking vessel. You understand, I was on that vessel? <sighs> you know I could do whatever I want on that vessel, right? Anything that I wanted to do on that vessel, I could have done it. You don't even have an area code. I don't have an area code. You can't even contact me. You're in the middle of nowhere. I gotta contact you. On a goddamn vessel. I'm on a vessel. Some of y'all ride on boats. I was on a vessel. Here's the deal. Now, now let me just back. And this is water. That's water, good people. Let me tell you what happened, fool. Mm -hmm. I got nervous because I'd never been on a vessel before. So before 
the morning before I embarked on that vessel, mm -hmm. I got so nervous. I was already high. I was in Fort Lauderdale, and I smoked some of the finest dope that Kelly's Earth had to provide. I fucking hate boats. Oh, I was, I was in a good zone. And I said, I'm gonna, I gotta leave this weed behind. I don't wanna be on this boat. But this weed can get caught up. Fool, what I don't know is, upon entering, there's a regular side and there's an artist side. The artist side, I didn't know. I'm walking through, had some water. I was like, let me finish my water. He was like, d like, you can walk through with your water. Niggas is walking through that bitch with all kind of dope. Yeah. Ain't nobody checking us for shit. Nothing. I don't know this. Nothing. You Ain't know. nobody checking us for nothing. You just threw away the finest dope. Ah. I'm so mad at me. Fuck it. Get on the vessel. We take off. Mm. We're cruising. First time on the vessel. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what to do. I'm just sitting in my room, right? Mm -hmm. The boat, boat is moving. I said, you know what? Let me go out and inspect. I go out on the top level. Why Cliff John is performing? <laughs> <sighs> this motherfucker, so Maria, bad. Maria. She remind me of a West Side so He giving you that. In all that. You in that? He in that bitch killing. <sighs> he doing... Strumming my thing with his thing. These people are losing it. Yeah. Now, it's an older cruise. Nobody wants to hear that without Lauren, though. You, you need fine. Lauren. You definitely need you Lauren. You definitely need Lauren. But, but okay, go ahead. The cruise is going amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm going through, a few people are noticing me. It ain't, it's about 4,000 black people. It's about 4,000. Okay. And it is a older audience. Anywhere from new, mm. 35 to maybe 78. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's I'm perfect. watching Wild Club perform. I got me a little beverage in my hand. I'm mad. I ain't got no weed. I'm like, I'm going to find me some weed. Somebody got weed on this vessel. Somebody got weed on this vessel. And D-Lay going to find it. Make no mistake about that. Fool, as I'm moseying through the audience, I run into one of my homegirls who was a dealer. Excuse me. Who was a waitress at the win. Mm -hmm. She got like four of her homegirls with her. Okay. D-Lay, what's up? Oh, shit. We link up. We rocking out. We drinking, having a good time. Now, every night is a party on this bitch. Mm -hmm. You got SWV. You got uh, Rashawn Patterson. You have Deborah Cox. You got motherfucking Keith Sweat. You got Fantasia. You got uh, Hezekiah Walker. You got all kind of acts. What you want? You on a vessel. I was supposed to be on that. Eight days. Allie. They fucking on that vessel. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Top deck, Lord. They... People out there, they got money and they fucking fool. They swabbing the deck. Let's be clear. <laughs> they swabbing the shit out of that deck. <laughs> so These people are having a blast. Oh, they playing shuffleboard. <laughs> they got all kind of fucking shit. They got a karaoke night. Uh, Every, it's a party. Fool, I am enjoying this. You can eat. I'm, I'm having a blast. Mm -hmm. Now. Because I am a bachelor on this vessel. Oh, yeah. I decided I was going to live my life as if it were golden. Live your life as such. So one night I put on a shirt and I took down all the buttons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's about, okay, all I, the buttons were down, down to the neck. I put it on. I, I buttoned that bitch up and then took them all down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I buttoned them all up and took all them bitches down. Ah, Just to, I'm out there. Now here's the deal. Everywhere I go on that vessel, I got five women with me. Everywhere. Everywhere I go, five. Yeah, yeah, of course. Six or seven every now and then, but five minimum. Five minimum. I'm in the thing. You got to. I'm going, when I go have dinner, 
I may do two things. I may go have dinner by myself, I may have lunch by myself, or I may have five to six women with me. Yeah. Period. Because it's, 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 it's just that wide open. It's wide open. I love the boats for that reason. I just hate this shit. The moving and shaking. You feel that shit. People be like, you don't really feel it. It's a fucking lie. You, you feel, feel that it. shit. You feel it. So the first concert I go to, I, oh, I'm in that man. thing. I got a whole, my homegirls is smuggled in all kind of liquor. They got the shit all in lotion bottles. They got the shit all in their motherfucking makeup. They got it all kind of hidden ways. <laughs> so they pouring me some of the shit. So I got the first day, I'm, I'm the second day, I'm on Jack. You drinking Jack Daniels. I'm, I'm jacked up and on the pink boys. oil moisturizer. And I pink oil moisturizing them bitches. <laughs> I go in, I don't know what concert I'm going to. I just know I'm about to go to my first concert, so I'm feeling good. I'm nice and leaned up. I got my gla I got my little shit in my little contraption. <laughs> and I'm already drinking. I don't even know where I'm at. I say I'm gonna go. To, I say, ladies, look, y'all can roll in here with me, or y'all. They say we gonna. I said, well, you know, I'm gonna go to goddamn concert by myself. Liquor high as hell on the boat. Liquor high. As, I'm gonna get you that. Everything else free. I'm in there, man. They open up the curtains, man. They said, how many y'all know Jesus is real? I said, how many y'all know Jesus is real? Wait a minute, I got liquor. This liquor. <laughs> how many y'all know Jesus? Is, that's, that's the concert I'm at. I, I, I'm in a I, gospel I, I know this, but... I said, oh, oh okay, cool. So but he said, we're going we're gonna, to we're start off with your hands for glory. I was like, wait, to glory? Wait a minute. I'm lit. <laughs> lit. I'm lit. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. I know. I'm like, I got liquor in my hand on my poison. Look, you... you I got liquor on my poison. You, you hold it up. Then I said, you know what? Jesus is real. Jesus is real. <laughs> shit. I said, you know what? Jesus is real. <laughs> I'm finna sing y'all shit. Man, I saw, sing y'all shit. I saw you online. I said, let me drink this. And bro, I was in that gun. Jesus is real. I know. I was in the moment. Yeah, he real. <laughs> yeah, he I, real. Saw you. Real I saw shit. you on your story. Hey, bro. And wait, look, let me tell you how I know you drunk. When your, <laughs> head, when your head go down like this, I think it was like, I uh, said, that nigga drunk. I'm gone, fool. And I hear Jesus in the back. Hey, bro. Hezekiah walk on stage. I'm in that bitch with a whole fifth of Jack. <laughs> on a, a Pison. In a TCB. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Man, I'm in that, bro. They, oh, they, people gave me to Christ that night. Because that, it, it, like, it wasn't the night. It was like during the day. People get it like the Christ. I'm sitting there drinking. I was like, yeah, man, Jesus, just go ahead. You're like, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> get your life. One of the five or six women. Look, one of the women with you like, I think I'm going to go up there. You go right ahead. You, you, go. Get, you get your life to Christ. Because you need to. You hear me? Ooh. Yeah, go get your life to Christ. Go back, give cause, it to him. Because what we about to do, you're going to have to repent for it. Go get your life to God now, cause I'm finna do devilish things to you. So fool. Now, while well, I'm on the boat, it's all different celebrities on there. Yeah. I'm gonna be performing with Michael Collier, Sinbad, and Preacher Lawson. Okay. God damn it. And I'm supposed to be able this to. is a great I mean, everybody's there, man. You got um um after seven is a is a group. Some of y'all gotta Google that shit. His baby face brother yeah. and two some other cats. Some of y'all got to go back. Um, uh, you got icons that's on it. Uh, Morris Day is on there. Google oh, Morris Day. Morris Day and Prince were like big. Now, Morris Day is interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting cat. I, I did, did the you, Michael Bay show. Did you hear me? In, you. Oh, you did? Yeah. So I, I know. He's, okay. So Mar Morris Day is this elaborate dresser. He has these. My fucking big ass suits on, be different color, be motherfucking maybe orange, maybe purple, but motherfucking be lavender. Think Billy early 80s. Billy early 80s. <laughs> Hair, you know, the motherfucker got a goddamn conk in his shit, five heart beat it up on you hoes. Yeah. Morris Day Dev could be Billy's uncle. Yeah, easy. <laughs> so Morris Day is he tripping on his boat. He tripping on it. Hey Morris, you tripping. Hey, bro, Mars tripping. <laughs> he tripping. Hey, bro, Ali. Is Jerome with him? Hey, 
You no, no Jerome not with him. Okay. He got another nigga. Oh. I don't think he can afford Jerome though. <laughs> he got a new Jerome. He got a new nigga. <laughs> Ali, Mars over there tripping. Mars tripping, bro. Let me tell you what Mars doing. Let me tell you how Mars wilding with his boys. Hey, young folks, go Google Mars Day. When I finish it, you'll see the character that I'm talking about. You'll see the nigga that was on his goddamn vessel acting the ass. He don't play around. Morris Wilding, Alley. Man, one day I'm going into the buffet. They got a buffet. They got really good food, some different, a lot of different choices. They got vegan choices. They got whatever you want, they out there. Mm. So <laughs> I would go down there every now and then, and there'd be people that'd be like, oh, that's that guy, you know, from, from Instagram, or it's a guy from YouTube. I see him with Daphne. You know, so people are like, hey, can I get a picture? I'm like, oh, you sure you can get a picture, right? I know what it is because, you know, it's, we are in the open. Some people may recognize me, maybe like, you know, let's get a picture or just say what's up. That was it. So I'm, I'm, I've been out there a few days. I'm not going to perform until the sixth day. So I got all these days of just partying. Just chilling. I'm Getting just kidding. fucked up, having a good time. Having a good time. So I'm in the buffet one day. And I see a nigga with a mirror. I was like, the fuck is this nigga doing in the buffet with a mirror? A big mirror. Not no little, a big motherfucking yeah. designer mirror. Yeah. I was like, oh, what the fuck is this nigga doing? <laughs> so I look over. In the booth, a circular booth, a big circular booth with the ocean, the motherfucking Caribbean just in the back of it, is Morris Day. Dressed in a motherfucking seven-piece suit on that bitch to the nine burgundy shoes matching the goddamn suit the whole suit hair in a in a in a conch like right uh -huh. shades on eating with a security nigga in, in front of him with an earpiece in <laughs> while the nigga is on his on one knee with the mirror let Morris watch himself <laughs> eat <laughs> Morris is watching himself eat. I'm like, what the fuck cool this he nigga was. is big timing the shit. I ain't even born there healing. He's amazing. This nigga's amazing. So I was like, wow. So Morris is watching himself eat. Yeah, that mirror goes everywhere. Jerome used to carry that mirror. I don't know who this nigga is with the mirror on one day. It's knee. a new nigga. So it's people Terrence. are coming up. We gonna call like, him Terrence. Excuse me, Terrence. <laughs> so Terrence on one knee and people are coming up. Like, hey, hey, Morris, can you get a picture? So security... Is pushing niggas away, like, no, no, no pictures, right? So some people are getting slick, like, fuck that, I'm gonna get a picture. This motherfucker's putting his hand in front of the camera, like, no, uh -uh, no, get out of here. No picture. Oh, Morris ain't taking no pictures right now. So Morris is at the buffet. I'm watching him, just denying everybody, getting mad that people want pictures. You mad? Nigga, you <laughs> at the buffet. <laughs> Nigga, you at the buffet. I mean, come on now. It's, it's just people everywhere. Michael Carr, you actually went on stage and talked about that. I'm watching this nigga. I was like, this nigga wildin'. He big time in niggas, right? I go to this concert that night. Go to this concert, right? So the floor is kind of empty. He's in the, he's like in, he's not in the big theater. He's like in the smaller theater. And he was like, uh, what time is it? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so people started kind of slowly migrating. He was like, we need everybody on the floor. Right now, he got on like a purple suit this night. Mm -hmm. Everybody migrate to the floor. Neil puts on a great goddamn show. Yeah, because um, Prince, Prince gone, so. Prince out of there. He's, he, this, this is time. This is time to shine. <laughs> he, he has waited forever for this. Been waiting on you to die, nigga. <laughs> he, he heavy, but he heavy. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Now it's my time. Now it's my time. Food. You've been in the way for a long time. Ooh, I'm finna get it. I watch him perform. He puts on an amazing perform amazing show. And it's so many acts. He is awesome though. He is. It's so many acts. And he but old. I, yeah. I go to Fantasia. I see Fantasia turn that bitch out. She does one of the greatest shows amazing. I've ever witnessed. And it's like, it's it's almost spirit. It's like you need that motherfucker like. Touched. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I want to get my life back to Christ. Right. It's one of them. And but I'm on this vessel. I keep hearing <laughs> about Keith Sweat's show. 
I'm like, I got to go to the to, I got to I got to go. I got to go to the sweat show. I got to go. I'm hearing that Keith is drunk. <laughs> this is at the first show. I didn't go to the first show. My girls go to the first show. Come back and tell me, you ain't gonna like Keith Sweaty. He was drunk. I said, bullshit. I'm gonna I'm love, love Keith Sweaty. <laughs> if he's drunk, I'm gonna love Keith. That's exactly why I'm gonna have the time of my life. Oh, let, so, let me in there. Please. This is, how, this is how I feel good I felt that day. I already had an outfit on. I'm gonna put another outfit on. I put another outfit on for you, Keith. Because I know you're gonna entertain the shit out of me. I go. Are, are there buttons on this shirt? <laughs> there are buttons, but the question is how uh, many are buttons? Exactly. One. I got one, one goddamn button. button on it. One goddamn button. Let me check, tell you where it's at. That motherfucker is right here. All this here open. <laughs> All that there open. Everything else open. With the wind blowing. Everything it's open. Good. Let's go. I, everything open. Exactly. If you go to my store, you can see I had a white. I had a white Fendi shirt on, opened up, chain, all on the neck. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When I get my shit back together, I will no Come longer with me tomorrow. own shirts. Come with me. <laughs> I told this motherfuckers in, in summer 2020, you ever I'm seen going a, to my closet and cutting a, all the sleeves off the You ever seen a nigga with a blazer? Ain't no more sleeves. You ever seen a nigga with a blazer with no shirt on? Yep. Yeah, it's it's going to be. When I get my shit back together. Man, listen. Ooh. You, hey, stick with me. You can get it. Let's we can get it. you that. I'm back. Mm. So you didn't change for Keith? I got another outfit on Keith. I had to go do this. Let me tell you who's with me. Tyana, shout mm -hmm. out to my girl Ty. Ty, what's that? DMV man? comedian, funny as fuck. I see you. And Shay, my homegirl, who's been knowing me for like 10 years from the win. We're together. And let me tell you what just happened. On my way to the show, now more people are like, like, who? Oh, that's that guy. They're going back to the room and they're Googling. Oh, that's that guy. So more people are asking for pictures. So now people are giving me shit. They're giving me weed. They're giving me brownies, edibles. Mm -hmm. So a lady comes up to me and she says, I heard that you've been uh, having a hard time finding um, marijuana. But I think that should hold you over. She hands me a motherfucking... B a box of brownies. So I said, oh shit. I break some off, get some to tie. I eat some, give some to Shay. So now everybody feeling nice. Lit. Keith out there. Keith, no, Keith ain't out there. Keith. He ain't out there yet. Okay. His, his warm ups is out there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He gonna hit you with that? I'm sitting back and feeling good. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, you know why? I, you see how that nigga shoulders? See my shoulders? Because see, <laughs> it's a body high. When you fucking with the medibles. But let me tell you what happened. Woo! See, I told you I broke, everybody broke off a piece, right? But I didn't tell you what type of piece I broke off. I broke off the biggest piece. Oh, yeah. My piece was about this motherfucking beard. Right. A real cool. nice chunk. And I was chewing on the motherfucker <laughs> like it was a goddamn crunch bar. Before, before he came out, I was just eating my shit. I just kept eating. I was like, that's not good. <laughs> you gonna hold some shit like that's how big it was. I, I was just eating shit. That's, so it, that's when keep you go back. You five again when you <laughs> hold some shit like that. Keep coming out in a minute. We good. Keith comes out. Oh, shit. And I see Keith's face. And immediately I know Keith is drunk. Immediately I know he's drunk. He got this shit. Because this is what he says to it. He said, hey. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. What y'all doing? Who you talking to, Keith? What y'all doing? Do you know who you are? No, nigga, what you doing? The nigga said, what y'all doing? <laughs> he said, y'all got y'all, he said, y'all gotta get out y'all. He said, y'all gotta get out y'all seats. What y'all doing? Come on now, go and get out y'all seats. Y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you, are you asking us to get up? Somebody should have been like, where's John Keith? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, so Keith starts performing. Now here's the deal. He's putting on a good show. Okay. But he drunk. He drunk. 
So Shay next to me says, D, he's really putting on a good show. I said, yeah, I know. She said, I don't think he's drunk. I said, listen, you talking to somebody and this is an ex expert on the shit. I know what and drunk looks like. That's an expert at being drunk and performing. Nigga, I, I lived at a nigga, with a nigga when I was eight years old and, and he was 40. <laughs> And he would come home drunk. I know what it looks like. Every, I'm an expert. I can tell a, you what's like. It's a drunk. very blank stare. In you your can't fool me. Eyes. This, this is like. You can't fool me. Keith is in this motherfucking lit. She says, "You think you're drunk?" I said, "Watch. He about to come off that stage in a minute." Three minutes later, Keith was in the motherfucking upper rafters. <laughs> and that motherfucker, I ain't nobody. Yeah. Who can you? You like look, me? Nobody. It's, it's all he be everything he be, upper body. He be trying to move his hips, but no, only his shoulders be moving. Like, Strictly upper body. It look all nigga, upper body. Hips ain't doing shit. Shit. <laughs> and his so, hip is fifty. <laughs> now the edibles have kicked in. I'm lit. Mm. So Keith is telling everybody, all right, yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, get out your seat, get out your seat. So me and my girls, we're not getting out of our seat. You know, we're not, you know why we're not gonna get out of our seat? <coughs> because we're high. <coughs> we're the highest that we've ever been. Your body is heavy. We're not getting off. It's <coughs> fuck. We're not getting off the seats. <coughs> you weigh down. We're not. So Keith still goes, with, he's still doing the shit, he's performing, doing well. Keith says, I need to call a lady on stage right now. What lady can I call on stage now? He got ladies all in the front, right? He got ladies spread out in the front. What lady can I call to come on stage? Woo! Pick me, Pick me! Of course. Hey, oh. It's 40 year old bitches going crazy. He calls one up. She comes up. Nice looking lady. Keith says. <laughs> You gotta show me something. That's some old nigga shit. <laughs> right. Old Keep trying started, to get me too. Old girl starts dancing. He was like, oh no, you gotta show me something. They put a chair on stage. She starts working the chair. He was like, get on off the stage. You ain't showing me nothing. Get on off. Get on off. <laughs> Oh, girl's like thinking, like, is he joking? Nah, he's serious, man. He was like, who can work it for me? <laughs> yeah, get on off. <laughs> get your ass off. Get I'm already calling the next contestant. <laughs> next girl come up there. She started doing her shit. She's a little young. working for me? He said, you know what? I've been on this boat two days. <laughs> and I ain't seen nothing I want to fuck. I said, who? <laughs> It's Keith, bro. It's Keith. So yeah, all the girls Keith. are not in front. He said, yeah. He drunk. You can go and get off stage right now. He said, hand me that bottle. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. There it is. I told you, motherfuckers, it was lit. Motherfucker came out. He pours the bottle. And if you watch my stories, he said, it ain't me. I ain't, I ain't drinking. It ain't the drink. He said That's something exactly drunk what shit. He said. What is he said, because this video has been circulating on, on the internet, <laughs> and nobody knows that that video is from that boat. And I know it, because <laughs> I saw what you put on your story. What he said, you get, man. That nigga said, I, I don't drink this to get drunk. Mm. I, I, I drink this just to have a good time. <laughs> That's exactly what the fuck he said. I don't drink this to get drunk. I drink it to have a good time. Or just to get me started, or get he me does going, that. get me going, or something like that. Now he still got girls sitting at the front of the stage, right? Mm. So Keith said, like I said, I've been on this boat two days, and I ain't really seen nothing yet. So the girls was like, yeah, yeah. He looked down and he said, I don't know if y'all worthy. The Ooh. girls was like, yeah, oh I'm worthy. You ain't fucking nobody. You fuck me. He said, he talking that cash he shit lit. and they still ready. He got, he got a glass in his hand. He lit. He said, nah, I wouldn't fuck none of y'all. Ah! Then what? takes his hand, wipes his face, and throws the sweat on the girls. He said, that's all the sweat y'all going to get tonight. Oh. <laughs>
Nigga, Keith Wallin. Keith Wallin. And I bet they still screaming. They still right there. I want to be that famous. <laughs> nigga threw his sweat on the girl's I want to be that That's famous. That's all the sweat y'all going to get to. To where I can say, I will not fuck none of y'all. And they say, please, though. Nah. Please. I know you said you wouldn't, but please. Mm -mm. Actually, I've had a woman beg me to fuck her, and it was quite a turn off. You don't want that. Yeah, it was quite a turn off. So, night six comes, this is the night of the performance, my show. They come out and they say to me, they said, now, D-Lag, do you know the order of the show? I said, no. They said, um, they're gonna have an escort come bring, get you from your room and bring you down, and we'll give you the order of the show. All right, cool. Get the escort, brings me down. I said, hey, listen, you're going to go first. Then they're going to go Preacher Lawson, and then they're going to go to Sinbad. Michael's going to host. I said, who's going to go first? Who are you talking to? Who, what, say what? They said, you're going to go first. They just told me that you only have 20 minutes of material, so you're going to go first. I said, I felt like King Joffy, jo Joffy, Joffy. Who told you that? Right. I only got 20 minutes? I they, said, they told you I'm only doing 20 minutes. You only rephrase that, minutes. sir. You're gonna go first. Hey, I don't work. I don't make the rules. I just work here. Not a problem. So I go up and I tell preacher Lawson. I said they want me to go first, and then you and then Sinbad. He was like, Yeah, all right, cool. I said, Okay. I'm about to go pour it on. I'm. Yeah. All right. I go out there and I light that bitch up. Standing ovation. Light it up. Come back out. Michael call you. I give it up for D Lay. Um, they uh, said in my contract. This is my invitation of you taking all the laughs out of the room. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Get, I'm give me it all, out. I'm taking all these. I There's no it. more laughing when I leave here. I <laughs> lit it. Sinbad. Uh, he's talking to me, you know, after my set, he was like, why, man, why haven't I heard of you? Mm -hmm. I and love I when like, he said that. You know, and I was like, you know, I don't know, I've just been making rounds. Yeah, he was I'm like, man, gonna, like, do the thing here and there. take my number, call me when you come back, to, let's talk. And he's sitting backstage, he's telling me stories about Richard Pryor, and how Richard Pryor kicked him out of his Bentley, and just all kind of dope stories, up until Michael calls his name. It goes out. He's like, give it up for D-Lay. Crowd goes crazy. We're in this big theater. Not the theater Mars in. We're in the big <laughs> shit. We're not in the one Mars was in. Not the shit Mars. We're in the big shit. We're in the big one. He says, give it up for D-Lay. He says, D-Lay, come back out here. Calls me back on stage. The crowd is going crazy. We stand out on the stage. We do an hour and a half on stage together. Just up there. Just up there, just fucking ripping. I love that type of shit. Killing. At one point in the show, he says, hey, d like, uh, are you single? I was like, yeah. He was like, you're not married? I was like, no. All these cougars. Yeah. Yep. He said, oh, wait, hold on, y'all ladies. Hold on. d like, you heard that? I said, yeah. He said, do you have any student debt, student loan debt? I was like, yeah. He said, we're going to get it all paid tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So he set off a whole thing on the boat with these cougars. We have a great time on the boat. I made some dope connections. Day eight, we're getting off the boat. I'm so bad I missed I'm you. ready to get off this boat. I had a great time. I lived it up. It was amazing. If you want to know some of the deep stories of what happened on the boat, go and subscribe to Patreon. Yeah, because I got some stories on there about the boat. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We can get I know you know we it. can get in there. I know you wanna know I know you wanna know it. Go on over to Patreon, go subscribe. So day eight, I'm getting off the boat. And again they have the artist line to get off. And I'm getting my bags together. I'm getting ready to check out. And the artist line is long. It's long. Right. And I'm not gonna sit in this line. It's artists and they handles. I'm not right. I'm not. Yeah. So I walk all the way past this line, all the way up to the front. <laughs> right up to the front. Skipped everybody. 
I don't give a fuck. Kid and play. Skip to all them niggas. SWV, all them. Up. Deborah Cox, skip to all them niggas. Skip everybody. I skipped Hezekiah, the whole gospel. I skipped all y'all. Jesus is real. Yeah, yeah I skipped all them niggas. <coughs> and you got to go through, you still got to go through like the customs, like, right? So I get, well, I just walk right past them. Mm. And I'm walking like through the custom part. And as I'm walking through the custom part, I see a nigga in a fucking, it wasn't even, it was fucking salmon colored suit with sparkly shit on it. Mm. And customs. I'm like, that nigga coral. Is, I'm gonna go with coral. Oh, nigga was overdressed man. for customs. <laughs> nigga was way overdressed for customs. Way the fuck overdressed. Mm -hmm. So I see him, and then out of nowhere, I, like I see a nigga running behind me, full speed. I'm like, what is that? You can hear him because he got on boots. Chock, 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 chock. This nigga running with a mirror. <laughs> Doctor, 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 doctor. I said, oh shit, it's that nigga, it's Terrence. It's Terrence. It's Terrence. It's that motherfucker Terrence. The nigga's running. I said, oh, doctor, 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 doctor. And the nigga is dressed in the same color as a nigga. In, I said, well, this is Morris motherfucking day, and this nigga Terrence. Doctor, 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 doctor. Nigga got the mirror, walks up to Morris day. I said, this nigga still got this shit going. <laughs> it's, it's over. You still got this shit going. It's day eight. I got a backpack and like, a carry on a little bit. I'm walking through. Morris says, he says, hey, funny guy. <laughs> funny guy. I say, hey, how you doing, man? He said, hey, man, uh, I caught your show. And uh, really good job. Really good job, brother. But um, <laughs> I know that you a Kappa. And uh, you guys, uh, you actually bit my style. You bit my style. Terrence, mirror, one knee, one yeah, Terrence. Man. Pull out a comb. That motherfucker start combing this shit. Oh yeah. He said, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you ever want the real tips on how to be a player, you should holler at me. And he looked me dead in my eyes and he said, did you miss me? God damn. damn. Took you around the world and drop your ass off, man. This is right another the episode. Fuck did you miss off. me? I'm D-Lay. It's your boy, damn fool. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all in the next episode. Yeah.